you ever wondered who has the highest net worth in the world, what they do or did, and what they buy? Well, strap in, like this video, and hit the subscribe button because you're about to find out. First up today is Carlos Slim Hillu, whose measly $98.5 billion net worth lands him last on our list today. Chairman of the Mexican company America Mobile, Hillu didn't start on the board of companies, humbly getting his start as a professor at UNAM. Being the richest person in Mexico and at one point owning a 17% stake in the New York Times, you may be wondering what Carlos spends his fortune on. One thing was the Duke Simmons mansion in New York City that he paid $44 million for. Next up, we have the co-founder and chairman of Google and its parent company, Alphabet, Sergey Brin, whose net worth is a clamoring $105 billion. Escaping anti-Semitism from Russia at six, Sergey has gone nothing but up here in America, co-founding the most popular search engine in the world. Sergey's big expense on our list today is the more than $100 million that he reportedly spent on luxury blunts. Following up with a mouth-watering $102 billion net worth, we have Steve Ballmer. Not being born a billionaire, Steve began in a basic 9-to-5 job as the 30th ever employee of Microsoft, eventually working his way up to be CEO for 14 years. With his love of the sport, Steve's big buy on our list today is his purchase of the LA Clippers for $2 billion. Now that's faith in the team. Sliding through next on our power list is Larry Brin with a net worth of $105.8 billion. He's the other half of Founders for Google, a co-chairman and board member of his parent company Alphabet. Larry is largely considered the deciding factor for Alphabet purchasing YouTube. Some billionaires buy jets, but Larry caught our attention with buying a whole airport. Just your average Joe purchase. No list on wealth could ever be complete without Warren Buffett, whose net worth is an earth-shattering $111.6 billion. CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, Warren is vastly considered one of the most successful investors ever, owning large portions of Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson, and many other companies. Warren has made it public multiple times that a staggering 99% of his wealth and assets are already pledged to different charities. Now that is a king's move. Being the founder of Microsoft and co-chairman of the Gates Foundation, our next addition to the list could only be Bill Gates himself with a show-stopping $114.7 billion net worth. Bill owns large portions of Republic Services and Deer Co., making him one of the largest landowners in America. One of Bill's most extravagant purchases was his Washington State packed full with custom Bill Gates tech-like floor sensors that can tell exactly who is in the room and where they are. The $125 million public price tag for this evaluation does seem a bit low due to this, though. Following with the considerably less known company, the CTO and founder of Oracle, Larry Ellison, is our next addition with a net worth of $129.7 billion. Amongst a book of a career accolades, Larry spent nearly two years on Tesla's board of directors. Larry's a billionaire who knows how to use his money, so his big purchase is an island. The Hawaiian island of Lanai, to be exact, that he bought for a poor man's rate of $300 million, where he now resides. Rocketing to number three on our list, we have the CEO and founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, with $142.9 billion net worth. With odds stacked against married couples in America, Bezos was hit with a divorce to his then-wife, Mackenzie, that cost him 4% of his 16% stake in Amazon, making it one of the most expensive divorces in history. Bezos made headlines whenever he bought LA's most expensive property for $245 million. Now that's hardly chump change. Fighting for the top spot on our list, our second place holder is currently Elon Musk with a mind-bottling $193.2 billion. Elon is well known for being a co-founder and CEO of Tesla, but is also a co-founder and partial owner of the starbound rocket company SpaceX, and more recently bought into the social media titan Twitter. Rumored to not even own a house, Elon does own a Gulfstream G650ER private jet. Gotta love these priorities. Crashing in with a world-shattering net worth of $223.5 billion is the CEO and chairman of LVMH, Bernard Arnault. For those of you who don't realize you recognize LVMH, they own 75 different cosmetic brands such as Sephora or Louis Vuitton. Being able to afford anything in the world, Arnault owns Indigo Island, which is 135 acres and resides in the Bahamas. As a true business tycoon, Bernard rents out stays on this island for the chump change amount of $300,000 per week. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to come back for more.